What is up, MFers? Welcome to Wisconsin. It's kind of funny a situation right here. We just parked. You go under this right here, and then we go under the road, and then over there is Backwaters, DeSoto, Wisconsin Backwaters. It's actually where myself and Zark fished the tournament a couple years ago, so it's the same exact place, but yeah, I'm here with my man Brennan. You guys saw Brennan yesterday uh, from Do It Molds, and then we also picked up Ben. We got other Ben with us today, and uh, he's ready to catch some sloshes as well. But yeah, yesterday was was totally badass. I, I toured the Do It Molds facility um, and, and made my own tackle. Got to take home much tackle to make videos of you guys and show you how to make your own tackle. Um, I just said making tackle a whole bunch of times there. I hope you guys followed that. But yeah, so we made a bunch of plastics. We went out and caught fish on the ice fishing plastics, the little tiny guys. But we got a chance to catch some giant walleye, some giant pike, giant everything today. So we also made up some of these guys right here. Some sexy looking little blade baits. Freaking stoked to see what's gonna eat those. So we're gonna jig those around. We're gonna put some tip ups out for big pike. Apparently there's, there's a lot of good fish here. So pretty jacked for the day. Let's get out on the ice and uh, see what the hell happens. I'm scared. Ramped it. That's where the boogeyman lives. We did it! Almost. This is pretty slick. I like this. We're back. You guys remember this spot at all? Dude, I caught a fish out of that tree. R right there. Are you kidding me? What the? That's a largemouth. Oh, largemouth. It's just really bright. It looks like a smallmouth. Dude, what the hell? Personal best? Yeah, PB. Big time. 13 inches. Oh. Tell your friends to come say hi. Not all right. Not what we were expecting. Interesting start. Are you? Oh, yeah. Got him? The way it's gone, we better get him on film. Ooh, that might not be a perch head, huh? I don't know, dude. This is the drop. This is the dead head. The old dead stick actions. With a live minnow. Again on the two pound test. Yeah, and the freaking 40 inches of snow and ice here. The good news is this hook should be buried in there. Bastard. Oh, another large head. Not what we were expecting. Not at all. <laughs> Look at that. Dead stick blade bait. No, no, this is uh <laughs> Nothing on it. <laughs> Just a bare dead stick blade bait. Well, that's not what we're after, but it's enough to keep us busy. Dead stick, all right. They are being tricky. Trick key. Oh. Dude, he sucked it in. <laughs> All right, I'm getting the blade back out. That was uh, that was not little at all. Yeah, yeah, we're over here fishing out a little bit deeper. It's probably 10, 11, 12 feet. We've been in there, been kind of playing tilly dicks. Got two largemouth little ones, but Brennan just came out here, and he's using the same thing: blade bait, minnow head, and just got smoked twice. So we're thinking big walleye. Hopefully, at the very least, it was a pike. Satchel's waving us over. We better go. <laughs> We're getting the wave. Yeah. <laughs> Satchel's doing the wave. Yeah. That's a big one, dude. I've Holy never seen shit! A perch like this, dude. I've never. It looks like a peacock bass. Peacock perch. Oh wow. Dude, that's insane. Nice, dude. Yeah, I've never caught one that big before. That's like a legit 14. Yeah. That's fat, fat, fat. Yeah, let me see that one up close again. Thing is like grotesque. The belly. That is wild. Full of eggs. Full of eggs, yeah. Beauty. Beauty. She should go back. Yeah, she should. Good call. That's just too big. That is too big to keep. Sweet. Backwater perching. Dude, was that the biggest perch that you've ever seen? That was a nice perch. That There's... was probably the biggest perch I've ever seen in my life. What'd you get him on? That was on a little micro gold tungsten and a minnow head. 
these guys are telling me that gold tungsten's the way to go. So apparently, we're gonna have to do that, but that thing was freaking huge. We're gonna keep on moving down though. Further down the way, further down the other way, I'm not really sure, we're kind of checking a lot of different depth ranges. The fish are kind of being assholes today. So I think we're just gonna have to cover some water and uh, see if we can get them to actually start reacting to our baits. The only problem is like, getting around is absolutely miserable. There's like four, five, six inches of slush underneath a foot of snow. This is a better spot. Too. Yeah, this is a good spot right here. And our feet at this point um, are completely soaked. So that's gonna be fun later when it uh, cools down like it's supposed to. And there's supposed to be some storms rolling in. So we'll see how long we stay out here, but we definitely are, are gonna try to keep a couple perch. Ben didn't keep his perch because that was like an absolute trophy perch. Like a legit 13 to 15, I don't even know, 14 inch perch probably. Yeah, that was a good one. Super fat 14 inch perch. We definitely had to let that one go, but hopefully we get some more that we can eat. And like I said, hopefully we get some walleye and some pike or something because that's what we're really here for. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a perch head. My camera was off and I'm dumb. That's a. <laughs> that's another night. That's, that's a big one. That's definitely an eater. Put that in your, in your little bring home to mom. Button. Look at that on the freaking do it bait Brennan made. Pow! You're welcome. Woo! He was sitting on the bottom and I was bouncing it above him and then I just stopped it and just like wiggled my rod tip and he came right up to it and tapped it. Dude. Girthy. It's a good bird. Yeah, dude, that's gonna be a delicious one. Oh, by the way, MFers, we uh, we brought our cooking apparatus, so this is gonna be a mid-afternoon snack. Can't believe he ate the blade. This that's is a crazy that's a big that. blade. That's way bigger than anything we usually use ice fishing. God damn it. There he goes, live well. Yeah, you don't even need to drill one. No. Nope. Got a case of the raisin feet, that's for sure. Oh God, he ate it on the fall. Oh! That, that was big. That rip and wrap? Yeah, dude, first drop with the rip and wrap. He ate it on the fall. There we go. That's a good one, man. No, it's not, but it'll eat. <laughs> it will eat. Why did you fight so hard? Slowly but surely, getting closer to lunch. Catching lunch, that is. Please don't be a five inch walleye. <laughs> if it's six, does that count? No, that one might be like 10. World record over here. We got a new species though. Cool looking dude. Little Sodger. Sodjar. Good work. Sodjar. Sodjar, going back in. He's not gonna make the squad for dinner. Oh God. Nice. Dude, big walleye. Big, big walleye. I got red fingers from my flaming hot Cheetos and the biggest walleye in the Mississippi River. See? He's giant. I'm losing it. I'm officially losing it. So we got a little bit of a problem. We're sitting here over our, our ice holes and it, it kind of started off fast with catching good perch. And now we're to the point where we, we need to eat. We're hungry and we brought all the apparati cooking apparatus to cook up some perch, clean some perch, cook them up. So that was our plan. We're like, we're gonna target perch here for a while. Well, it's now been like six hours on the ice. We're starving. We're sitting here shaking. I might fall apart. I might just cut a hole in the ice and, and dive through it and sink to the bottom. I'm so, I'm so hungry at this point. I'm not gonna make it back to the car, which is over there in Narnia. We <laughs> were to the, from the point of like trying to catch some perch where like we've kept them. Um, but we might, uh, we actually got some walleye at home too at the, uh, the Airbnb, which I got to show you guys the Airbnb. It's pretty badass. The owner looks exactly like Thor. So we're hoping he's waiting for us next to the fire that's going in his man thong. Hopefully Ben said that I didn't say that, but we're hitting like one more spot on the way back. We're kind of stopping every once in a while because I can't even tell you guys how bad that sucks to sit in, walk through, trudge through, pull freaking sleds through. It's, it's terrible, but we're having fun. We're gonna eat well tonight though. We got we got some good walleyes and, and some now a couple perch heads waiting for us. Hopefully we can get up a couple more and cook them on the ice right now. But uh pretty bleak at this point. Satchel's got me turned up. What did you catch? What did you catch? It's a huge bass. Dude, it's a six that's pounder. a that's not a six pounder, but no, it's, it's big. Not, but it's oh my oh, god, my dude. God. <laughs> <laughs> Last minute catch. Dude, that's a tank. That is a good one. Nice work, man. 
All right, you're going to need to cut that teardrop off and give it to me, please. Thank you. <laughs> that's Dude, like that's like I set the hook three and a half it. pounder. I set the hook on it, and I think I went further. You went down? Yeah. He came up? Look at his weird lateral one. That's crazy. Give him a kiss. Looks like all them damn river fish. I bet it's because we're at the river. Yeah, is Wait. Yep, river. We are in a <laughs> river. A river. We're still here. Usually I lie or hide where I'm at, but I will indeed <laughs> say we are on the Mississippi River. Dude, nice. That's a good fish. Hell yeah. Is this your hole? I honestly can't tell. <laughs> it used to be. Now there's a snow drift in it. Gone. Adios. Sweet. Adios, brother man. I got a bad case of the raisin foot. My God. How was your situation? <laughs> <laughs> you had like... Improving. I it's, had, it's had half an hour to air out. Ask me how my feet are. <laughs> okay, Mr. Lacrosse Boots over here. My feet are warm and toasty. They're on fire too. I had a minimum of three inches of water and snow and rain slush in the bottom of my boots, so it's feeling pretty good all afternoon. Fishing did not go spectacularly today. We got perch and satchel over here, which is uh, Ben's new name. We were gonna do Ben another Ben, but satchel. He looks like a satchel. I don't know why. It makes him mad when we call him Satchel, so we're gonna keep doing it. Came back here, and luckily, Brennan came in clutch and brought some some Walter heads uh, to eat. Look at that nice, fine, white flakiness. We're gonna cook those up right now. This is our B and B, by the way. Um, this is Thor's house where, where he lives. That's our badass stove over there. That's a television, in case you're wondering what that would be. This is a shitty deer mount. I'm thinking about taking these twigs out from his antlers. He looks kind of sad up there, but that was in 72 when that got mounted. And I think the pike up here with the ultra fake eyeball is in 74. So yeah, we're, we're kind of confused by the mounts, but they're there. It's good decorations and such for this mountain wilderness home. Jacuzzi out there is the biggest thing. And uh, there's bedrooms back there. In case you guys wonder what beds look like, I'm not gonna, not gonna go back there, but Chef, what are we making today with little, our Walter heads? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, Beauty. We're going to have some walleye tacos. Mmm, Walter tacos with freshly caught walleye from not today. But it's going to be delicious. About a month ago. Freshly caught one month ago and not today. Satchel caught a nice bass. You got to catch the day twice. He caught the biggest perch in North America. He caught like a, we're going to call it one pound bass. He said it was six. We thought it was probably... <laughs> No, it was probably close. It was probably three and a half, four pounds. It's nice, solid bass fish, and especially uh, for satchel. Yeah, for really for for any of us amateurs, that's a giant fish. But you know, let's, let's cook up some fish and uh, enjoy Thor's house. missed the bite on the Mississippi River, did not catch him well. Uh, Brennan and Ben actually were talking about going there. They went there early ice and absolutely whacked big walleye and big pike. And then it's another good spot to late ice as well. We knew it'd be taking a chance to go there at middle ice, but we wanted the chance to have an opportunity to catch a giant walleye or a giant pike, as opposed to just get another panfish video. And what do you know, we ended up catching perch for the main species, but we caught some nice bass too. And then that one perch was literally the biggest one I've ever seen. One awesome catch was catching that perch on the homemade blade bait from Do It Molds. I'll put the mold and everything and, and all the information for Do It down below. They were awesome this whole trip going up there. Letting me in, I was actually the first person that's ever gone and do it molds facility and done a tour like that. So for them to allow me to come do that, kind of open the doors to what they do inside their facility and have been doing for like 60, 70 years, absolutely amazing. And I can assure you guys, this is just the start. There will be many more videos with myself filming with the do it guys, making my own baits, and uh, we have some really cool ideas in the works I think you guys will like. If you liked this video, if you want to see more tackle making videos, if you want to see more videos where I go and fish some some of the river stuff, I'm, I'm obviously I want to go fish there open water. That's where the Zark and I did really well in our tournament in that same exact spot. Um, if you want to see that, of course, go hit the subscribe button. We have almost daily content now, and I'd love if you do that. And, of course, comment down below what you guys want to see next. But I will catch you guys tomorrow. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.
Jesus, I'm like my 